a vertical city would have seemed alien a few years ago, and it seemed like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Today, that very future is approaching us at a breakneck pace. Come along as we dive deep into the design and minds behind the Line City and why we think the Qin Dynasty of China inspires Saudi Arabia's recent ambitious infrastructure plan. China has recently entered into a technology agreement with Saudi Arabia for NEOM. Details of the contract and the latest construction updates of this mind-boggling concept are broken down in this video. Under the stewardship of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, Saudi Arabia's futuristic megacity, NEOM, a $1 trillion project, is set to bring the arid desert to life. NEOM covers around 10,200 square miles in northwestern Saudi Arabia, and that's almost the size of Albania. The Gulf of Aqaba surrounds the region to the west and the Red Sea to the south, providing a picturesque backdrop for the mega projects. NEOM is a game changer that offers a glimpse into futuristic inner city life. NEOM is not your regular city. It is a sprawling region featuring glow-in-the-dark beaches, ski slopes, an artificial moon, robotic butlers, and flying taxis. The developer of NEOM announced 10 projects, referred to as regions, and so far, details of five have been revealed. These include four megacities of Sindala, Trojina, Oxagon, Line, and the world's most extensive coral garden resort, Shusha Island. Representing snow, sand, lush green landscapes, and underwater reefs. Before we continue, subscribe to the channel to see the other videos on the four cities and the coastal resort when we release them. Let's start with the famous and most discussed, the line which we will fully explore today. It is a planned 100 miles linear city that will house 9 million people. The line comprises two parallel 500 meter high skyscrapers running east to west across the Neom region. These vertical skyscrapers are 200 meters apart and clad with mirrored facades, making for an awe-inspiring sight. Mirror facades were chosen because they conceal the massive structures by allowing their footprints to blend with the natural environment. Do the parallel skyscrapers surrounding the Line City ring a bell in your mind? Meet the Great Wall of China. It is one of history's most significant mega-construction projects, and the longest. Work on the Great Wall started in about 400 BC and was completed in AD 1600. That is 2,000 years of hard work. Look at this. Two great parallel walls, almost 13,200 miles long, each 16 inches thick and 5 meters apart, forming an insurmountable barrier protecting northern regions of ancient China from foreign invasion. Compare this to the two parallel glass walls enclosing the Line City. The resemblance is remarkable. The line is so large that 40 Great Walls of China stacked to the height of one World Trade Center will fit inside it. Is Saudi Arabia the Qin Dynasty of the 21st century? Even more remarkable is that this futuristic city will be free of cars and streets, powered entirely by clean energy and have zero carbon emissions. Recently, Saudi Arabia has made all the headlines in infrastructure development, toppling Dubai and China. Well, it's all in one plan. Vision 2030. The idea is to diversify their economy by making tourism the anchor, just as we're witnessing in Dubai. If fully and successfully implemented, the plan aims to wean Saudi Arabia's economy from its dependence on oil. Imagine living in a society interconnected by artificial intelligence and designed to coexist with nature. The line will prioritize walking, clean energy, and technology for a better, new way of living. Giles Pendleton, the line's executive director, said, Renowned architects are designing the initial sections, vertical spaces, and layers for the first residents. And with excavation already underway, the project is progressing rapidly and the future approaches us faster than we can imagine. Conventional cities are overpopulated, congested, and polluted, 
and need more infrastructure to sustain citizens. The line aims to confront these challenges head-on by prioritizing sustainable solutions. The good news is construction has begun on the line. In October 2022, satellite images showed ongoing work on the line, surprising all naysayers who thought this was a fictionary plan. In the satellite footage, excavators and heavy machinery were observed working on the site. According to CEO Nadmi al Nasar, the megacity project is progressing rapidly and 20% of construction is completed. The project, which aims to be a futuristic hub of innovation, is on track to expand its infrastructure to all areas ready for construction. NEOM recently shared a detailed video documenting the construction progress of its four megacities. In an interview, Tarek Kadumi, NEOM's director of urban planning, revealed that the design team started constructing the infrastructure corridor, known as the line, in 2021. While the team strives to beat scheduled deadlines, the first modules are expected to be completed by 2030, with a substantial population living on the line by the same year. Mr. Kadumi also shared the project's goal of giving people back their time, allowing more focus on hobbies, interests, and social connections. We have the ambition to change urban life, he added. Neom has also signed a $5 billion agreement with Air Products and Aqua Power in the US to build the world's most significant green hydrogen and ammonia plant, which is expected to be operational in 2026. In 2022, Saudi telecom company was contracted to provide a 5G network infrastructure to bolster Neom's digital ambitions. To provide adequate fresh water to the citizens of the line, they will use solar water technology to revolutionize the water desalination process. Guys, do you now see why this particular place was chosen for the mega project? The Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea will provide a critical defense to the cities, and they will process these seawaters for domestic use. The line will be powered solely by renewable energy, including wind, solar, and hydrogen making it the first city in the world to rely entirely on green energy. The city will also be the world's first zero-gravity vertical city. In urbanism, zero-gravity is the idea of layering city functions vertically, allowing people to move seamlessly in three dimensions to access them, Prince Mohammed said. MBS emphasized the need to address increasing pressure on urban spaces and find solutions to the rapidly expanding global population. By 2050, increasing carbon dioxide emissions and rising sea levels will force 1 billion people to relocate, and travel times will double. The Crown Prince worries that about 90% of people breathe polluted air. A hyper-rail line will run through the city, reducing travel times. A renewable-powered electric system will power these supersonic trains, and the line will be the first zero-carbon city of the future. There will be about 450,000 people living in the line's economic zone by 2026, and nearly 2 million people by 2030. Eventually, the line is expected to accommodate 9 million people, when all said and done, in 2045. Despite a promising future and all the goodies that come with it, critics believe that residents of these cities will have to compromise privacy for security. The fear is the Crown Prince has been bolstering his ties with China's leader, Xi Jinping, who has promised to provide powerful surveillance technology for the city. China is infamous for surveilling its citizens and censoring social media. There are reports in the media that China has successfully implemented this powerful surveillance technology in Serbia and Egypt. Bulani Zhili a Harvard University fellow researching China's global ambitions reported that Xi's aims to normalize and seek to legitimize its vision of a state-led cyberspace and surveilled public. Crown Prince Mohammed is keen to replicate this public surveillance on a much bigger scale in Neom. So, what do you think about the line? Will you give up your right to privacy to live in paradise on Earth? Let us know by commenting below. And remember to like and subscribe so you can catch our videos on the rest of the cities under NEOM.